be gone by now. Well, I would have been, but now Sonny's not home. Well, maybe she's on her way down here to see what happens. No, that's what I was thinking. If she is, I don't want to miss her, so I thought I'd hang around for a while and give her another call. <laughs> and a glass of water. We should get her to the hospital, Lieutenant. Okay? After a few questions. She's in no shape to answer questions. The water, Emerson. Is this where the rape took place, Miss Adamson? In this room? In the, uh, in the bedroom. Can you tell me what happened? I was getting ready to go out. I was in the bedroom fixing my hair, and uh, I heard the bell. So I came in here and opened the door, and there it was. He said he wanted to talk to me about something at work, something on the 11 o'clock report. He came in, and he, uh, he put the chain on the door. And I asked him what he was doing, and he said that it was time we got together. I told him to leave. I kept telling him to leave, but he didn't listen to me. He grabbed me and he kissed me and I, I slapped him. And then he slapped me. I tried to get away from him. I ran into the bedroom. But he got there and he was so strong. I fought him. I fought him, and I couldn't get away. He put his hands around my throat, and he kept them there. I, I tried to get away from him, and I couldn't. I just couldn't. It's going to be all right, Miss Adamson. <sighs> Who raped you? Jack and... Do you want us to arrest Jack Benton? You raped me. I realize that. But I still have to ask you the question. Yes. He raped me and I want him arrested for it. Lieutenant, the shower's right. 